All right, now back to Mark Zuckerberg's uh, second and final day of testimony on Capitol Hill. Robert Eberhardt is an assistant professor at Santa Clara University's Business School, and joining me now is, so if you have to give Mr. Zuckerberg a grade, since you do teach, what would you All give right. him? I think I'd give him a B minus. I really think uh, he did quite well. Um, he stayed on message. He uh, didn't argue with the congressman very much um, and uh, kept his cool. But I don't think he addressed the concerns people have about sending information to Facebook, that being networked with all their friends, and then sent back to them to give them a political message. So I don't think he addressed those worries and concerns that people have about yeah. that. I was going to say, if, if a B minus is a good grade in your book, yeah. I, I don't want to take your classes. <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it, did, it did seem a bit more contentious than yesterday. Yeah. Uh, some of that is obviously political posturing, because yeah. everybody knows this is, is televised. But how much of that do you think was because of frustration with Zuckerberg's answers, in particular with, when he's asked, are you going to change your business model what substantial changes are you willing to make and that was kind of I think yeah I think that's uh, you got really at the core of the issue people expect uh, Mark to be a leader of an industry. He's a leader of a large, uh, almost monopolistic company that has a lot of a you know, big effect on what we do and how we perceive the world. And so people are asking him for answers. How are we going to solve and make that private? Well, he is thinking of himself, it appears, as I'm a leader of an entrepreneurial company defending it, you know, its interests. And so there's a disconnect between what he's trying to communicate, what other people are trying to get out of him. So it ends up contentious. Well, sure. And especially yesterday, he talked a lot about, you know, when I started out in my garage, we're not in the garage anymore. We right? are. There's 2 billion <laughs> users. Uh, along those lines, uh -huh. Zuckerberg admitted that, and I, I was shocked by this, Facebook collects data from people who have not even signed up for the network, and they right. call this for security purposes. Right. Does that mean they're basically watching everybody, and how alarmed should we be about that, right. if at all? <laughs> I think it's something to be alarmed about. Um, you know, Z what Facebook has become is a media, a media, much like, uh, you know, ABC. And, uh, uh People, when they view ABC, of course, data is collected with shows we watch. And those shows we watch and then come in and, and modify other shows. But when you have Facebook that's taking my preferences, connecting it with other people's, being sent out and sent to governments even, right. you know, that, so that it's, my opinions get manipulated, now I'm afraid of this company. And I want to know how this large company that I have almost no say over is going to treat me and my friends. All right, going forward, I thought it was interesting. Elon Musk, mm -hmm. the entrepreneur, was among those saying, we need some regulation on yeah. social media. Right. Is the, even Zuckerberg said he's not totally opposed to regulation. Right. Is that destiny here in this case? I think it's inevitable. And the reason is that uh, this is a large company that in a, we are uncomfortable with a multi-billion dollar company that we have no say over how they act with our data. And the second thing is we're very, very uncomfortable with um, what, what he, they choose to do and how it sells on. So what's going to happen, I think, inevitably, is we're going to have to treat these as uh, public media that we would give them, say, licenses to access the Internet backbone and enforce good behavior uh, at the threat of taking their license away to use the Internet. And wow. I think that might be a way to look at it as uh, you are now become a successful large thing, you have a social purpose, and now we need to enforce uh, social action. So kind of like the FCC. Yeah, like the FCC on, on your, you know, exactly yeah. on your channel. You're yeah. required to act socially and responsibly, and I think we're going to have to have something similar with Facebook. Professor, thanks so much for oh, your time. My pleasure, right. anytime. All right.